It is April the 28th, 2021. I'm Andy, and this is the Menorcan Mullet Report from the Golden Ray Rec site in the St. Simon Sound. Didn't make it out on the boat today, but we went over to the port, put the bird up, and decided to try to get in here and get some close-up shots of Section 7. Now, we're off the uh, forward section of Section 7. This is where they just made the cut through. So we got in and we thought we'd try to take a look at at uh, these areas in here that we think were some of the problematic areas uh, when they were trying to cut through. And right in this area below these ladders, now if you keep in mind that we're looking at this thing horizontally, this ship's on its side here on the barge in the Port of Brunswick, and this material that's uh, just at the bottom of this uh, section of access ladders, uh, you know, we were hearing them, they were saying that, that the steel was rolling around the chain as it was cutting through. And we're kind of looking at some of this material and actually see some rolling of that steel. So we're wondering if that was the problem, if the, the area in there was just... Uh, just not behaving the way it should have uh, with the chain um, on that, that horizontal surface there and causing problems for the chain to break through. But we got in here, and one of the neatest things we found in here was right here. Look right there. You can see the control room. Now, this is just above the main engine in the Golden Ray. And it, this almost looks like they walked out of it yesterday. But we can see uh, some dials uh, looks like some computer screens, uh, maybe a, a bulletin board. Um, just fascinating looking down into the inside of the Golden Ray. Here is it's on the barge in the port. Uh, this area right here, this is the forward side of the engine room. See, they did not cut through the engine. The engine is actually, here we are, it's back behind here you can almost see it down there on the on the left hand side the the forward part of the engine is right in there and so they didn't cut through the block it was not the engine that was causing the problem it was uh, some of this some of the the construction of the ship just was not uh, acting the way it was expected to act with the chain and we did notice that once they got to that R5 chain, that, that chain with the higher uh, strength rating, it seemed to make a significant difference. We didn't see any uh, uh, downtime with chain breaks. It really looked like that was, that was a uh, very positive decision to go with that R5 chain. One of the things we notice when we look in here is just how this steel just is just ripped and torn as that chain made its way up through these decks of the Golden Ray. Now, as we go down and kind of look around, we're going to see some vehicles down low that are kind of interesting. We can see where uh, one of them, it looked like maybe the front end of it just took a whopping with the chain and just kind of sheared it off. Uh, and then we'll see one one car that actually it looks like one of a car that burnt. It is just a, looks like a hollow shell um, with, with no trim pieces or anything on it, just kind of burnt. And here's that, re that red car right there. If you look at the front end of that thing, it just looks like it was just sheared right off by the, by the chain. Of course, here we, we're just kind of looking down towards the deck and we can see that matting system that they placed down on the deck with this section of the ship lowered down by the VB 10,000 onto this barge, onto that matting system. Yeah, and this car right here, this one right here, this vehicle right here, we can see this looks like uh, this has uh, really been damaged by the fire. We know that there was an onboard fire after, after she rolled um, and we look, looks like that, that may have been right in the area where, uh, that fire was, was possibly the worst. Was, that car was just, uh, just 
looks like all the trim, all the plastic pieces, tired of everything just going off of it. As we come up here, uh, this is right at the keel section. This is uh, some of the, the the mechanical works, the heart system of the ship. Looking back into these pieces, it's just a, a maze of piping and conduits. Just what a what an incredible amount of material and systems that are inside the ship. Really fascinating.
we just kind of concentrated here on the uh, forward section of the section seven. Uh, this is, uh, of course, uh, again, the side that was just cut. This is the piece that had the chain just went through in order to separate it. And um, we'll, if we can make it back over, we will possibly uh, try to get uh, the um, aft section of this, this cut and try to video that. Again, that that control room is just that's just uh, just a sight to see uh, the inside the the working area the control stations for the for the engineering space and um, wow what a shot we're not expecting to see that when we got in there today but hopefully we can get the other side of the ship um, we we don't want to be in in the way of any of the crew we were uh, very mindful when we got there that there was no one uh, down working on this side of the ship when we were taking these shots. We we don't certainly don't want to be a hindrance to any of the operation and while this is ongoing. We we know that they're going to be uh, sea fastening this thing and probably uh, securing some of the uh, vehicles that may be loose as well as uh, some of the decks that may have broken loose that, that possibly could fall in the uh, transit over to the Gulf of Mexico this this section bound for uh, Gibson Louisiana again uh, like the previous three for further processing there but that's our plan and hopefully that works out where we can maybe get a closer look from the from the aft section Uh, while we were up there today at the port, uh, we took a look at the area where we expect that some of the future pieces of the Golden Ray uh, sections will be processed. And we now see that there are two grapple machines on site. Uh, one of these, we know we've seen an operation out at the site pulling cars uh, when they were doing some of that weight shedding activity loading them onto the barges, uh, but there they are. They've uh, obviously they're planning for some sort of activity involving car removal. So we look forward to uh, possibly being able to bring you some video of that activity on some of these future cuts. It looks like that, that plan is moving ahead to actual, actually process some of the sections here at the Port of Brunswick. And we're thinking that these will be uh, sections that we put on those uh, dry dock systems that were brought in. We know we've seen one that's been modified with a little bit of cradle uh, to help uh, for st steadying the load when it's uh, set down on the dry dock. But uh, yeah, some more interesting, interesting video from the port today. We'll part out here today uh, with a couple shots from yesterday's activity, bringing the bringing Section Seven in the port. We kind of see it here, and there's the mullet, and there's yours truly working the camera. Well, hey, that's about all the time we've got for today. Hope you enjoyed the report. I'm going to ask if you haven't done it, to hit the subscribe button, send us some comments. Most of all, we want you guys to stay safe out there.